Hi, and welcome to Is AL Code Open Source? Hey, my name is Eric, and um, the story behind this video is a tweet from Steve Endo um, the other day. Let me actually show you. Uh, here's Twitter. And Steve asked, is it accurate to say that the Business Central A language is open source? Um, with a link to the uh, AL repository on GitHub. So that's a that's a great question. Uh, actually, a, a slightly complicated question. So I thought I would try to explain how things are. What is the state of the world when it comes to open source and AL? First, let me let's actually define one thing and define what does open source mean because if if we go to if we go to github uh the, the microsoft spot on github we can see that this is open at microsoft uh, open source at microsoft.com and there's an open source.microsoft.com um and i think we can go and explore projects uh and there's a bunch bunch of stuff um and all stuff that is truly free so in in reality the, the 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 problem with open source as a terminology is that it's slightly difficult to figure out what it what it actually means um but let me try to rephrase it so free software uh so so the idea behind like the linux kernel um tons of these things is that it's actually free software. You can take the source code, you can go and do your own thing with it. Uh, and depending on what open source free software license that has been applied, there might be rules about what you can do if you can go around resell it, or if you can just, what you can do. And and most of these nowadays are those kind of trying to kind of two camps. There's the uh, BSD, MIT, group of licenses that's basically said that as long as you tell where you got it from you can do whatever you want you can you can sell it you can give it away you can modify it, you can do whatever you want and then there's the um the gpl version that basically you requires no matter what you do that you have to uh, make the source code available um and i don't believe there's any gpl uh, code involved in anything that's m remotely related to Business Central. Um, uh, the Linux kernel is, kernel is GPL uh, as a big example. So, and and here there's actually multiple examples, but let me just do one that the new Windows terminal. Um, uh, let me see. If I got something here, I can, oops, trying to start this. So, you know, the new Windows terminal uh, where I can run PowerShell, I can run command prompts, I can run uh, Linux shells, I can run Azure Cloud uh, shells and stuff like that. Um, all these, um, this this terminal program is totally open source and, and and the source code is is sitting on github under the microsoft um uh, under the microsoft account so if we go to that and and this is where the confusion starts and we we, we find al we can see that AL is sitting here and we also got the AL apps extension. We actually also got an earlier thing. If we search for CAL, we have something called the CAL open library. Um, but let's go back to AL uh, for a second. Um, so AL is sitting here, but the only thing that this actually is, is a couple of files. Uh, that is stated that these are under the MIT. Oh, you can see, there we go. Th these are under the MIT license. So this is like the grammar file for, for, for the language syntax, meaning that I did a long time ago, um, 
I I did a uh, a language module for the Sublime editor to do AL, um, and uh, this is the the text made language file for AL. So I could I could take this and just use it because it's open source. Um, I. I can take this file and use it in an editor for BC script because it's it's open source. But the actual compiler, the 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 runtime environment and all that stuff is not here. The source code for that is closely guarded and 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 is not available uh, for anything. So that that is is not open source. But I think they stated very well here saying that the main purpose of this repository is to track issues so do you have an issue with the al compiler do you have something funky uh, around the language or stuff like that or the uh, language the um, the what are, what are they call the syntax analyze the code analyze the cop code cops um, then you can go to the issues tab here and and this is what you're doing you can see there's 700 open and 5,000 closed so there's a lot of uh, activity here, um, but there were another one. So if we go back to Microsoft, we saw that there was also the AL app extension. And if you're a subscriber to the channel, you will know that we actually on the channel created some code for this a while ago and created a pull request. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, hey, how about coming a subscriber? The weather will be better and, uh, and, and yeah you will have a great life. Just kidding. Uh, but but I would enjoy it if you would become a subscriber. Anyway, um, so what is the AL apps extension? Well, this is basically the source code for the system application um, uh, app. Uh, so we can find that here on the, on the system and we can see that we have Base 64, which was the one I made a contribution to, and camera, and all the non-accounting stuff. There's nothing accounting here. And all this code is, as you can see, this is actually MIT license. Uh, and if we go in, let's look at my friend, the uh, Base 64 one, and find the source. And we can see that at the top of that, license under the MIT license. So what does that mean? That means, well, the normal, so this, this is where it gets a bit funky. Uh, so the normal purpose for assigning a license like this to stuff is because so other can use it elsewhere. Um, so if I wrote a piece of code and I MIT licensed it, then somebody else can go and use it for something else. Um, this is a, a like the foundation, the one of the cornerstones in 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 all open source software, and uh, that that is great. I could take this code and go and use it nowhere because the only place this code will uh, will work, well, there may be two places, but the only place it will work is inside Business Central. And that is certainly not an open source place. BC script uh, could be the, the second uh, place at some point in time right now. It's it's also running inside Business Central uh, 100%. So in that case, it doesn't really matter. Um, but the, the purpose and here, here's the basically, the, I think this is the point of the entire video coming up right now. We're almost at nine minutes. So that's good time to put that in the purpose of the license on this code is for you to be able to give source to Microsoft so it's not about necessarily that Microsoft gives the, the source a license so you can take it no <laughs> Microsoft gives it had, puts a license on this so you also put the same license on the stuff you contribute to Microsoft when you give it to them so they can use it. So in reality, this is kind of reverse open source. So Microsoft is using your open source contribution in their closed sourced Business Central application. 
Um, and when, in order for you to be able to to make a contribution to to this uh, this repo, you have to uh, sign the contribution license agreement, the CLA, and this is basically uh, long and, and lawyers, but but the 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 main gist of this is that you grant Microsoft and those who receive the submission directly and indirect from Microsoft a perpetual worldwide non-exclusive royalty-free irrevocable license in those submission to reproduce, prepare, derivative works of public display, public blah blah blah. So you so the purpose here is that you put a open source license on the code you give to Microsoft in order for them to use it. So he, the, the problem here, and, and, and if you remember, I, I said there were the CAL open library. So this was kind of the, the baby steps of all this because back in pre uh, pre AL times, um, uh, just when this was slowly getting uh, getting up to speed, we had a lot of issues with .NET not being available, and we had a lot of uh, .NET code that we couldn't access. Um, so uh, Microsoft made it possible here to for for us to to, to contribute, and you can see these are all objects. And if we find, I think it's called 704, uh, this guy, history, and see if there's anything older. So my initial, and, and this was probably not a pull request, so my I initially uh, submitted this guy for us because we needed access to memory stream but but this was in 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 CAL and and uh, yeah this is all history but the the concept this was also MIT because it needed to be open source in order for Microsoft to receive it so that's the um, so that's what's happening now on the base apps, uh, not sorry, it's on the system application. Uh, then you, if you go visit uh, Stefan's uh, GitHub, so he had with the the blessing of Microsoft, got got permission to basically post all the source code for all apps, uh, all languages. All of this is uh, this is very interesting, and and a great. Uh, well, that, that was a really boring one I found there. Let's find some of the API routes pages. Um, but this is this is open source, but this is not open source. This is still source under some sort of license, undefined, I think. Uh, it, it's an internal Microsoft license. We cannot take this and, and go and build our own um, uh, ap accounting application without getting a friendly call from Microsoft Legal saying that you probably should stop what you're doing um, because all this is not under the MIT license. All this is under, I, I don't even know what license it's under, but it's Microsoft's internal thing anyway. Um, so Let's not make this uh, too long of a video. So to repeat, Microsoft puts a open source license on some of the thing in order for them to be able to receive it, not for you to be able to. Yeah, of course, you can take some of the code and copy out and use that in, in your own stuff, but that still runs on their closed uh, source system compiled with a closed source compiler and all that. So. To go back to Steve's original question, no, the source AL codes to some of the some objects are available in in different shapes and form. Some of it is under a license that permits you to submit it and permits you to use it in Business Central. But 
that's kind of a mute point because all code is available to be used in Business Central anyway. Uh, and I have copied functions and code from from you know from the sales post and purchase post code into my own function in order to make sales post and purchase post work the way I needed to in Nav and Navision and, and Business Central. And yeah, it has nothing to do with open source, but it is certainly visible source. Uh, and uh, it's um, the open source part, the licenses is all about being able to, for you to give your code to Microsoft. Anyway, I think that's, uh, that's it for, for this video. I hope this made sense. If it makes made sense, let me know in the comments below. If, if something is very unclear, let me know in the comments below. And if somebody from Microsoft wanna clarify some of my points here, uh, comments, um, uh, if needed, I can do a follow-up. Uh, anyway, that's it for this time. Have a wonderful day.